Hi, this is Di, and it's time for me to update you. Today, no, tonight, I'm leaving to go to Washington, D.C. for my medical test. I'm gonna take you along. So we are here at NIH. I just got my blood draw, two tries. And that's all I have today. So now we're gonna head back to the hotel and we get to um, relax, which is dangerous because I might fall asleep and I haven't eaten a meal since yesterday. It's 2.30 in the evening. So we are done with NIH for the day. So now it's just uh, recreating <laughs> or being exhausted or having meals or something. Well, it is Wednesday, my first day to have my tests and clinics, and it's already been a day. I had to be here at 6.45, got here. My orders were for Monday. I wasn't here on Monday. So now they got me in at 9.45, so it's a three hour wait, and then I'll do my MRI, and then have a one o'clock and a two o'clock, unless they find out they can cancel them and have their check on that, so. Good morning. It is Thursday of our trip to NIH. Leaving the hotel. Yesterday was on the edge of disaster. It was not a disaster, but it was it was pushing that edge. Like, how close can we get without falling off? Right? I caught some clips, but it was really kind of hard to explain what was happening. I was told that, well, my schedule insert print out here no I'm not going to but my schedule said I had a 645 MRI of my brain and my spine I got there at 645 and our appointment was for Monday we weren't here Monday we didn't fly out till Tuesday so I missed that appointment somehow and so then while we were they ended up rescheduling us rescheduling me for 945 but in the meantime there was a man having some sort of heart problem in the waiting room. The door that's supposed to open to let you in wasn't working and so there was a repairman. Oh, and there was a guy that showed up for his appointment. He brought his little boy down who needed a translator to have his MRI at 7.30. His appointment was actually at 7 and so they had canceled him and then the translator showed up later. It was a hot mess down there yesterday. Also, they forgot to schedule me to do my ears because I was gonna see the ear doctor yesterday. Oh, I did see the ear doctor yesterday, but they forgot to schedule that. And so they scheduled for me to have my ears scanned at the same time I had an appointment with the ear doctor. But she was really cool. They did the audiology exam at one. At 1.45, the doctor talked to me and she said I was cleared to go down at two o'clock and do my CAT scan. And then their office called me at four and asked why I didn't talk to the doctor and was I coming back for that appointment. So, it was a hot mess yesterday. Today, one appointment. Let's hope that that clears things up. I don't know if it will. <laughs> she took my vitals and I had low blood pressure, but my heartbeat was at 104. It stressed me out a little bit. And there's that whole thing about finding out, you know, has the tumor grown or do you have, you know, do you need immediate surgery? So far, it looks like I cleared ears. They haven't seen my scan yet, but it looks like I cleared ears because I passed my audiology exam with flying colors. And now we go see the brain and spine doctor and see how I did on those MRIs that I had yesterday. How about you, Jerry? How are you? I'm tired. Jet lagged. We have not gotten our sleep even close to right because we had to take a, a red, eye. red eye to get out here because they changed the rules and now I'm not allowed to come and stay extra days. So this is very, very hectic. Yeah. So headed in today. Today's a light day. We should get to do some recreating, right? Sure. Aw, the Navy Surf Plus closed. When you come a place once a year, you find out what's new and what's gone out of business. Like my favorite Greek place from last year is gone. They made it one year. All right. 
let's go do this thing. When the president gets shot, shot and they brought him to this hospital. Brain. I'm also adorable, as you can see. So adorable. <laughs> yes. It is our last day at NIH, and I realized it just stopped. The video from yesterday just stopped. That's because I was with uh, neurological surgery, is what they call it is the brain and spine guys and everything in my spine was stable but I have two tumors growing one midline like right back there like like here but on the back side and one up here which is weird I hadn't even heard about that one <sighs> he wanted to know if I wanted to schedule surgery I did not take that very well <laughs> I kind of uh, went back to the hotel and refused to get out of bed Kind of. It was sort of a sit-in. I ordered food and Jerry went and picked it up. And then I went to dinner last night. I actually went to dinner so I left a little bit. But yeah, still dealing with the ramifications. I decided to wait and watch. Watch and wait. Watch and wait. So I'll get more scans in six months and see what they say. So I'm trying to predict the future is impossible but still it doesn't look great. happy with that result. So now it's the eye clinic and it may not be awesome either so we'll see. How are you baby? I'm tired. Yeah we didn't sleep very well. I was having nightmares. I don't know why. So I am out of the eye clinic. Everything is stable or stable enough. So see you in a year which is always a good answer for me. So if you're keeping count there were three clinics. Ears, eyes, and brain. And ears and eyes are stable. Brain leaves something to be desired. Shocking. 